Is this thing on? All right, yeah, got it. All right, we interrupt this broadcast for something that's probably nowhere near as important. How can you say that? We bring people the news they need! Right, okay, whatever, let's get to it. That's Jordan, I'm Harry, not the Prince of England. Please do not confuse me with that jerk, and this is your year-end report. Please, quiet. Just be quiet, man. You're acting different today. Uh, what, what, what's wrong, Jordan? Oh, I've been having chronic headaches, man. You know what else is a headache? The construction out here, Ontario! <laughs> what? Ow, my ears! I can't take it anymore! The traffic! I mean, I'm getting- I'm getting old! My life is plagued by traffic! Okay, first up, my eardrum. Second up, I mean, yeah, you're kinda right there, but this is supposed to be fun news! That's real news, Jordan! Okay, okay whatever, let's just get to- what's my first topic? Alright, yeah, yeah, Harry, you've been proven wrong. What, 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 wait, 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 what? How is this possible? How am me, Harry Beering, wrong? Remember last year during the year end report, you said that Pete Davidson would be going after Queen Elizabeth II next? Uh, yeah, yes, I definitely yeah, do. Yeah, after Kim? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it turns out he didn't. Due to the fact that the Queen is dead. <laughs> uh, oh well, I guess I could take a loss on that one. Now, you can take a loss, but you know who can take a win? Kanye West! Um, that, that's right. Over, over the course of this year, he has been unbanned from Twitter, which is of course a bad thing. He's been re-banned from Twitter, which is, um, of course, a great thing. Second up, uh, we're not allowed to talk about it because he said and did some things, which basically costed him his career. Uh, yeah, okay, but that was until he watched 21 Jump Street. And, I mean, yeah, I've been advising not to finish the story. Yeah, you know, it's probably for the best. They already cut our budget and made our table smaller. Yeah, yeah, that is that is true. That is true. Okay, look, look. There's obviously a lot more to say about Kanye, but um, considering he took up so much of last year's report, yeah, I, I'd say we move on to something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is that is definitely true. And like the guy who stole a scooter from Target and started putting it together right in front of the store. What the hell? Yeah, no, you know exactly like the guy who stole a scooter from Target and started putting it together outside the store because it is the guy who stole a uh, scooter from Target and started putting it together outside the store. And, uh, yeah, he couldn't even wait to go home. But you know what else happened this year? Oh, pray tell. Taylor Swift and now her ex-fiancé, Joe Allen, have split up! That's right. We went out to the school to ask everyone who cares. Look at all those people! In other news, something truly incredible happened. What, 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 wait, wait, what happened? What, 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 what is it? Oh, I'm, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm just so elated. The Late Late Show with James Corden was finally cancelled. Wait, it was? Yeah. That is the best news ever! But you know what? Some people may be upset. A lot of people found James Corden funny. Yeah, you're right. Let's ask everyone who finds him funny what they think about this. Look at all those people! <laughs> Alright, we use the gag twice now, we, we can't use it again. Unless it's for a very good reason. That's a good point. Let's ask every sane person in our history class, which is Mr. Bryan's Ancient Civilizations class. Please take it. Great, now you used it up. Yeah, yeah, my, my bad, my bad. But you do bring up a good point about history. If we're looking for absurdity, we don't need to look anywhere further than our history class, Sparta. Yeah, you know, if anyone's wondering why there are people yelling at each other wearing bedsheets in front of the school, as ancient civilizations, and if you're wondering why we're all sweaty, that's because we just did the Olympics, and also ancient civilizations. But hey, you know what else is ancient? Mr. Green. <laughs> well, I was gonna say good quality YouTube content, but that's a very fair point. That's very, very true. YouTube just hasn't been the same since COVID! Exactly, that's what I'm saying! And the most tragic thing to come out of COVID was that it spelled the end of Niga Higa, a YouTube legend who quit during the pandemic. Really? Really? That's the worst thing that happened during COVID? Not the millions of deaths, not the economic collapse since the worst since the great goddamn depression! None of that? Listen, Ryan Higa was my childhood. R regardless, that's not what we're talking about right now. Then why the hell did you bring it up? Because something amazing has happened. An RHPC reunion, a Ryan Higa production crew reunion. There's a less than zero chance that Niga Higa is making a new video. He goes. So some friends met up and you think that means Ryan's coming back to YouTube? Really? H Harry, please, just, just let me have this, man. I've had a rough, I've had a, like a really rough last couple weeks. 
And by couple, I mean like 30. Um, I, I fear you. I definitely fear you. But, but hey, there's still some joy left in the world. Like when a top executive of Beyond Meat was arrested for biting someone's nose off. What? Now that's nutty! Okay. Yeah, I don't think we really need to point out the irony in an exec for a vegan company doing pseudo-cannibalism. As weird as that sounds. Alright, well, what else happened last year that was uh, nutty? How about that man? In Albany, New York, was just charged with smuggling three, three Burmese pythons across the U.S.-Canada border in his goddamn pants! Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> He got caught. He got caught trying to cross the border with three giant snakes in his pants. And on top of that, the actual crime was in 2018, five years ago. How do they know it was in his pants? Wait, wait, oh my god. <clears throat> what did you just say? It happened in 2018, which was five years ago. Uh, Take that back. The, the, what, what? 2018 was not five years ago. Jordan, Jordan, have you not heard of a goddamn calendar? Okay, whatever, let's talk about the bee lady. What? You know what, what? The, la the lady in Springfield, USA, who, you know, she attacked some police officers with some bees. Jordan, you're really lacking passion right now. You're really lacking it. It's because this news sucks! There's nothing good to talk about. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, hey. There is one thing we haven't talked about, and that is going to definitely be fun. The Halloween dance. <laughs> um... Okay, yeah, no, we've been advised not to talk about that. Okay, but at least can we talk about how you sang bad romance with someone dressed up as Lady Frickin' Gaga and somehow managed to overperform her? Okay, first off, first off, her name is Olivia Beckett. Let it be known that I beat Olivia Beckett in that karaoke. And of course I beat her. I was in a Ben 10 costume. We haven't even talked about the legendary video that went viral around here at BCSS. Which one is that? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, 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 uh, yeah. Is Obviously the one I mean from the amazing South versus students basketball game. Oh, I thought you meant the video of Mr. Fryer. Yeah, uh, Mayfield. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. I mean, this is incredible cinematic masterpiece. That is... Mr. McClay getting absolutely folded over. Yes, this video is amazing. Oh my god! Oh my god! To report on it, we have our correspondents live on the scene. Hey, so here's a spot where we see where the death defying event took place. So, here we have this first spot where Mr. McClay rolled over. Here, we have the second spot where Mr. McClay rolled over. Back to you, Harry. That was absolutely moving. You know, I almost forgot we had a correspondent. I think we have some important things to ask the student body, so let's send it right back to him. One. Okay, what is your opinion on the current economic recession in Panama? Will there be garlic bread? Great answer, thank you. Would you rather unlimited bacon, but no games? Or would you rather games, unlimited games, but no games? Ah, <sighs> free content. Oh yeah, uh, you know what about Twitter? It's Twitter, nothing surprising at this point. Well, Jordan, I think that just about wraps up wraps our show up today, so thank you all for watching and- I, oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me. WHAT?! Could you hold these candles for a second? Oh, I'm hell so no! Okay, I don't have them, I don't have them. But, um, I think it's time I finally explain what I was doing at the beginning of the year, which, I, it's been dubbed the candle experiment, which, um, if you weren't already aware, uh, it was a whole experiment I ran where I asked people to, you know, hold candles. Jordan? Jordan. That was a whole experiment. Jordan. PLEASE explain! You've had everyone used for so long. We need an explanation! Uh, I mean, well, there isn't much else to say. That's it? That's it? Th that was the whole experiment? Why? Okay. Why? Yeah, I mean, there, there wasn't a, a reason for it, but I just got people to hold the candles because, you know, it was funny. <laughs>
It was funny. I mean, yeah, it was a decent set out of 10. I, I, it lost the touch by day 5. You do realize that your experiment was probably a big read on why half the school got sick this year, Jordan! Um, first off, I deny those accusations, and uh, secondly, I did it for the vine, so it's okay. Ah, well, of course. I suppose the moral of the story is everything is justifiable if you do it for the vine. Never have I heard a truer statement. And what about the ducks? I saw you looking for ducks. What the heck? All right, we're doing this. Okay. All right, we're doing this. Listen carefully, freshmen, tens, elevens, twelves, but especially the freshmen, because I know it was you. One hundred and twenty ducks were hidden around the school. And you're supposed to find them and rehide them. It's supposed to be a nice game. If you're having a bad day, maybe you find a duck. And maybe your day's not so bad anymore. But you freshmen and everyone else took the ducks home. You ruined it. You ungrateful helots took the ducks home. You didn't rehide them. You ruined the game. And your disregard, your greed and disregard for others has done so much damage, you can never repent. There is no salvation. I will find you, I will hunt you down, and I will end you. Uh, Jordan? Jordan? Jordan! All right, that's the end of the report. We now return to your regular scheduled content.